Welcome back to another episode of Money Grip. On today's episode, I'll be showing you guys how to put a K-Series shifter completely in your Prelude. To start off, you're gonna need your shifter of choice. For me, it was the Aquity two-way, and I chose to go with the H slash F to K adapter bracket from Hybrid Racing. And to top it all off, we have some K-Tuned RSX OEM spec cables. This is a smorgasbord of different brands, big brands. Um, personally, I like the Quiddy stuff. I ran it in my RSX. No, there's just no argument there. And this was the best price bracket I could get for the adaption to the trans. And these were the most median middle price cables I could find. So I didn't want to go with Yonakas or PLMs and I didn't want to get crazy race spec. So I got these well-priced OEM spec Johns. So to start off with, we have to get the old cables out. Editor Ron here. I totally forgot to mention, you got to take your interior apart and pull your original shifter out. I totally forgot about that. I already had my car completely pulled apart. My bad. On with the video. Ooh, crusty. Let's check. Is it a 10? Oh, it's a 10. Oh. Ooh. Can we make it two to make it true? Wow, I didn't think that was gonna come undone. Oh yeah? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to save this plate. It's like pretty far gone. I'll probably whip something up though. Oh. Time for step two, getting into the car. The second step for installing your K-Series shifter is undoing these two tenny boys that hold your cably boys into place. The key here is not smacking your freshly painted firewall. Here we go, sliding these cables out, I guess. We have to attach the cables to the bracket. Back under, we need to get these two cables and we need to feed them in the hole. So we'll do one at a time. Oh. In case you're wondering, I'm gonna cover this hole after I have the shifter mounted and the cables in. Excuse the mess in here. So now we're gonna get our positioning of the shifter in the correct Amundo Spado. So we're gonna attach the cables and we're going to work on getting these holes in. I wish my car was cleaner, but dang, that's a beautiful sight. We, just, we need to put a shift knob on this. Here lies a mint SH shift knob no discoloration, no stickiness, no weirdness. And I just shaved the clippy part off for the shift boot to make it look absolutely amazing for me. Oh my God, he ruined that SH shift knob. Oh my God. Preludes are getting rare. The parts are so rare. Oh my god. 
damn, that looks good. You see that? That's why I did it. Look at that premium race knob. Wow. Dang. Who's one to one in? Who's one to one in? You see that premium action? Sheesh. Just wait till I adjust it so that it's even like closer together. Dude, look at that. Wow, I just need to block off those holes. Dang, dude. That SH knob looks crazy like that. I actually really like that. Get that OEM feel with that sweet qual, dude. Dang, dogs party. I know you might be thinking, oh, money grip, money grip. Won't your shifter get in the way for going into reverse? So reverse is gonna be, the answer is no. I'm not even gonna lie, boys. The sawed off SH knob, this is a beautiful piece and there's no rough spots, anything. It gives you that OEM feel with that race style. So, steps I skipped over because I was too busy working. Bolt down your shifter, bolt it down, and then put your shift knob on in your center console. I have to cut mine for it to fit over the brake. So, I have to make sure I get this locking mechanism in so that I can use my brake as a parking brake too. And uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, for people that have an engine in their car, plug your uh, K-Series cables onto your trans. And that's it. Like, subscribe, share this, buy a money grip sticker, DM me on Instagram for it, trx.ron. And yeah, like and subscribe, share it thumbs up, comment, tell me what you don't like about my videos, what you do, how much you'd rather see my Toyota Corolla instead of my Prelude, little guy, and yeah, let me know, man.